Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a video that is on my foundation. So my foundation collection. I'm going to go through every single foundation I have. So I have two baskets full here and I'm going to tell you guys um, what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them and if I would repurchase them or not. There's a few in here that I probably haven't touched in a couple years that probably need to be tossed um, as well as things that I use every single day. So we're going to go through all of them. Let's just jump in and get started. Side note here, my absolutely favorite drink, as well as I have to drink everything with a straw. Um, not that all options come with a straw, but if I could drink everything out of a straw for the rest of my life, probably would, except that it causes um, lip wrinkles. So to avoid that, I don't drink my Starbucks out of a straw, but everything else is most likely out of a straw. Okay, let's just jump in and get started. So the very first thing I see here, Clarins um, Illusion Foundation. I loved this foundation. Um, it's beautiful. It smells great. Yeah, it still smells really good. Um, I've had it for probably about like two years now, a year and a half. So this is probably one that should be tossed. Um, but it's good because it's all plant-based. So it's good for someone who wants to do more of that organic makeup as well as it's good for your skin at the same time. It does have an SPF of 10. It's a great foundation. It's a little bit of an investment. It's probably like $40, $45. Not something that's going to last all day though. So it's good for someone who's probably normal to dry because it's not going to, it's not going to, um, dry semi matte, matte at all. It's going to be a natural finish. It's kind of similar to like a BB cream. So on a day that I want like a no makeup look, this is probably a foundation that I would reach for. I probably haven't reached for it in a very long time but it's a great option if you're looking for something really lightweight um, and acts as kind of like a BB cream. I probably would not repurchase this just because I do go for more of a um, full coverage even though I don't really need that full coverage I like that full coverage and a more of a matte demi matte finish. Um, probably would not repurchase it but it's great for someone normal to dry skin. So the next one that I see here is the Makeup Forever HD Liquid Foundation. This is a great foundation but as I've mentioned in my recent uh, what was it I don't know recent favorites maybe or purchases I don't know maybe a haul um, that I mentioned that it, it should come in a 116 so 115 is a little bit too light 117 is a little bit too dark which is what this is um, a 115 would be ideal and great but it doesn't come in that so I probably would repurchase this just because it's great for events, um, for photos, that kind of thing. It does need to be set with a powder for someone who's normal or super oily. Either way, it needs to be set with a powder. It does not dry matte. It does not dry down at all, actually. It's a little bit tacky unless you set it with a powder. So I would definitely recommend this for someone who's all skin types across the spectrum, but you do need to set it with a powder for everyone. Um, I love it. It goes on great. All these foundations with a beauty blender. So that is important to note that I do put everything on with like a moisturized, hydrated sponge. So not anything that's like a brush. So that is the application of my choice, but this is a great foundation. I probably repurchased it. So the next one is the Makeup Forever HD Stick. Um, I don't know. I'm still having really mixed reviews about this foundation because Everyone raves about it, so I'm trying to love it. I'm really trying to make myself love it. Um, but it's really hard to love something that I feel like I use. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I use a lot of it, but also I still have a lot of product left. Um, as well as I think it accentuates my pores a little bit more than what a liquid foundation would. So I'm still on the fence about this guy. Mm, I'd probably repurchase it just because it's so convenient and easy. For travel or on the go, it's something that's super easy and you can touch up with it. Same scenario on this though. It comes in 117 and 115, no 116. So this would be a great option for someone who's always on the go and it's good for all skin types basically. Someone who's really oily as well as dry. Either way, for someone who's oily, it has to be set with a powder. For dry, it may catch on a few dry patches that you may have, but other than that, it's a great foundation. The next one that I see here is a Cover FX. Oh, I have two. So I have Cover FX, um, what is it? So Natural FX, this is the Cover FX 
foundation. I have it in M10 and E10. Um, I could never get into this foundation. I know it's a full coverage foundation. It's supposed to be great for like covering acne scars, which I don't have. Um, acne blemishes, those kind of things, which I normally don't have either. So it is a very thick foundation, but a water-based foundation. So I don't know. I love putting it on people's skin. Um, it looks great in photos. It looks great after you set it with a powder, but it's just something that doesn't look good on my skin it, as well as it doesn't last on my skin. Maybe I'm using it wrong. I always use it with their um, cover effects anti blemish primer, which I love because it's a silicone base. Um, but these just are a flop for me. So I probably would not repurchase these. Um, they sh should also be probably thrown out there. Um, it says 12 months on them, probably way past the 12 month mark. So I'll probably toss these right after I finish this video, but probably something that I don't gravitate towards at all. So not a repurchase in my books. Next one I see is another Cover FX product. This one has never been used, so you can kind of see there's not one dent in this product. So it's N20. This one is a newer product for me. It is a cream foundation. So I'm unsure if I'd repurchase this just because I've never used it before. I did purchase it in the intention of using uh using it as a really full coverage, but I haven't even got to that yet. So um, I will get back to you on this. It is the Cover FX similar foundation, so it is something that's very thick. Good for acne prone skin, blemish prone skin, and it's going to be a very full coverage. As well as all the cover effects, I would recommend setting it with a powder always because it is that thick water based foundation. The next one I see here is the double wear foundation. Um, you kind of can see here that I do have a pump. So this is just a pump for the Clinique Super Balanced foundation that I did get at my local drugstore. So it does fit the double wear quite well. Double wear is a foundation that I also haven't gravitated towards for a long time, but it's such a good foundation. Um, so definitely full coverage. It's going to last all day. I wouldn't say you have to set this with a powder, but if you are more of the oily side, I probably would. It's a great foundation. I'm in the color 1N1, which is when I'm not self-tanned, um, but it's it's a great recommendation for someone who wants a foundation to stay all day in place and not touch it up. With this, I find that I don't have to touch on my nose even throughout the day. It stays so long. Um, definitely something that I probably repurchase when I'm out. I'm going to have to start dipping into this again because I haven't used it for a very long time. So I'm going to start using it in a few tutorials and we'll see. We'll go from there. The next one I see is Darfen CC Cream. So this one does have an SPF of 35. It's more on the skincare range, um, skincare spectrum, just because it has more of the skincare benefits, more of the SPF, more of something I would probably use if I'm going to the beach, if I'm going on vacation, that kind of thing, opposed to an everyday use, just because it's a very light coverage. I do have it in the color light. So obviously I couldn't use this on my tan days because it is very, very fair. So a CC cream is a color correction cream, so very similar to a tinted moisturizer, a beauty, um, a beauty balm, so BB cream is a lot thicker, so it's more of a balmy texture. So this is very similar to a tinted moisturizer. I probably would not repurchase this just because I remember when I first got it and paying around $50, $60, I was super unsatisfied with it. I am such a Darfen fan for skincare wise. I probably have like three or four things on the go right now of Darfen, but I just didn't love this product. Next is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. So again, similar thing. It's a CC cream, so it's a color correction cream, similar to a tinted moisturizer. This I would probably not repurchase either, just because I find that it was streaky. I couldn't set it with a powder. It wasn't like a soft moisturizing balm that I could have put on my face. It was streaky. It was thin. It was, did not cover anything, did not even me out. Kind of made my skin complexion look worse um, once I had it on than when I didn't have it on. So definitely not what I would purchase. But again, this is from the very first launch of the CC cream. And I know it cosmetics has changed their CC cream since. So I definitely want to try that soon. Next one I have is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is a great foundation. I am in the shade 2 when I'm not self-tan. It's a good foundation, but I find when I wear it, it only lasts um, without separating, without moving, that kind of thing, without any touch-ups for about 2-3 to three hours. It would not be a foundation that I would wear to an event that would last me all day because it does come off very, very quickly. So it's great for a 2-hour, 3-hour event or going out for a little bit of time, but it does not last all day. So beautiful coverage. Um, look, just looks luminous glowy on the skin but probably isn't something that's going to last you all day so not a um a work foundation that's you're going to go seven to five or um or that kind of thing it's 
when you're going out, it's not something that's going to last a long time. So again, that's the Luminous Silk Foundation. I probably am going to repurchase that, but just, um, I use it sparingly on special occasions. Next one I have is a Stila foundation stick. I have not used this. I don't think I've used it at all, actually. It looks pretty brand new. Um, I'm going to have to dig into this foundation stick because when Stila came up with this foundation stick, foundation sticks were not a thing. They were not cool. They were not hip like the Makeup Forever one is. So I did purchase it. I am in the color light. It does in the middle have a green um, circle, so it's going to help with any color correction. Um, I'm don't even think this is available to repurchase even if I want to, but again, I'm going to dig into this foundation and see if I like it because I don't even think I've tried it before. So the next one I see here is, I, 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 okay, so this is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Um, it's 24 hour foundation. It dries demi matte. It lasts you all day. So again, I'm normal skin type. So it lasts me from morning to night without any touch ups. If you're oily, you might have to touch up just a little bit in the nose area or in your T zone area. But I have, I don't even know how many, I have five bottles and I still have more elsewhere. Um, it's a great foundation. My absolute favorite foundation. I did recently do a post on this on Instagram. If you have not check that out. It is on my Instagram, Cassidy Ray Cooper. So you can check that out if you'd like to. It lasts all day. I love it. Recommend it to everyone. It looks good in pictures. Um, it's what I'm wearing today. So it's something that stays. You can mix them in with each other. The co colors don't separate. They mix well. There's a good shade range. I love it. It's affordable and it is from the drugstore. So my absolute favorite foundation. Next is from L'Oreal as well. It's the cushion foundation. I did do a little tutorial on this. So again, you can kind of see it's just that cushion formula. I really like this foundation. It is not one that you can go without setting with a powder because it's a little bit um, too greasy, too dewy. Uh, I probably would not repurchase this, just reliant on the fact that it ran out so quickly. I got this probably, let me guess, like a month, month and a half ago possibly, and there's no product left. I dip my beauty blender into it and nothing comes out. So unless I wanted to take literally the sponge out from in it and then get that product out, there's no way for me to get all that product out. That, that's solely the only reason why I wouldn't repurchase it. I loved the formula. I love the product, but I don't love that there's only like probably five uses out of this because I haven't used it very often. So for $25, I'd probably save my money and get the infallible foundation instead. So last few here, I have the Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation sticks. I did a full review on these foundation sticks, comparing it to the um, Makeup Forever HD foundation stick as well. This was definitely a pass for me. I would not repurchase these. They're very thin. They are not opaque at all. They're streaky. They're hard to blend out. They dry too quickly. Um, definitely not something I love and not worth the price, even though they are drugstore price. Next two foundations are drugstore products as well. The next one is the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation. So this was a recent purchase of mine. I'm in the color 10 Porcelain Ivory when I'm not self-tanned. Um, I found with this foundation, it lasted great throughout the day. I would suggest setting it with a powder just because your oils will peek through and it will move throughout the day if you do not. Um, I really like it. It's well worth the money. I believe it's like five to ten dollars depending if it's on sale or not great foundation i think it um drives like a dries like a silky demi matte semi matte kind of um formula it's medium to full coverage depending how full you want to build it but i love this foundation worth all the money and it's a really good option that's at the drugstore the next one is probably my other favorite foundation from the drugstore. So this one is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I'm in the color 150 Buff when I'm not self-tanned. I love this product. It gives me a full coverage. It's a perfect um, medium coverage. So it's not super heavy, but it, it gives you a full illusion of coverage. It covers any blemishes, all my freckles, my, my large pores, that kind of thing. I love this product. I constantly repurchase this. This and the Infallible by L'Oreal Foundation are the only products that I've probably repurchased over and over and over again. So I definitely recommend this, especially if you're in the market for more of an affordable foundation. That's a medium coverage. They have a huge color range, probably like 10 to 20 shades that you can choose from. So again, I'm 150 buff in the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. 
So those are all my foundation um, in my collection that I do have. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing which ones were hits, which ones were misses, and what I would repurchase. Um, I think it's important to note that most of the ones that I would personally repurchase are from the drugstore, which is surprising because I've never went through my foundation collection prior to this um, and recognize that most of my foundations that I do like are from the drugstore. So L'Oreal Infallible is my top favorite and then Revlon Color State is definitely um, coming in at second. Those are both, both drugstore foundations around $20 range here in Canada. So I definitely love those products. Definitely ones that I recommend to you if you have normal um, to oily skin, they would work great for that. Even dry skin, perhaps, they would probably work really great. But those are all of my foundations. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a few recommendations as well. And right after this video, I probably have to go through some of these and toss some of them out just because either I hate them or they're getting too old. So I will be trying out that Cover FX foundation and the Stila foundation stick that I do have in my collection that are new and not touched. So I will let you guys know um, an update on those products, whether it be on Snapchat, Instagram, or here on YouTube. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.